kuna watu wengi sana wameanza kusema e, hii process imekwama but we want to tell them that this process is on and we are going to take off on Wednesday and the bill is ready the people who are preparing the bill have told us the bill is here and the bill is ready can you now move forward so we are moving forward the issue of whether there are changes in the bill or not you ask the people who are dealing with the bill not us that is Honorable Junette Mohammed, uh, uh, you know, who is also one of the chairman of the uh, joint chairman leading the BBI uh, National Secretary, together with the uh, former member of parliament, Dennis Waweru. Remember, it's all about the BBI. Accept, refine, or reject. Which is which? I'm seeing so many tweets coming in, so many comments coming in through our social media handles. If you haven't dropped in yours, remember the hashtag is the stand KE. Drop in your comments at Ram Aguko at Y254 channel. The hashtag the stand KE. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is Y254. You're watching the stand. And uh, so let's talk about the signatures now. They are going to the county assemblies, and uh, it is expected that uh, tomorrow at the KICC, this uh, um, will be launched, the signature collections, and we will kickstart these issues going on to the counties. But now the question is, um, let, me, let me start with you, uh, Sheriff. How should county assemblies be able to, you know, handle this report? Once it goes to the county assembly, what should be the you know, rate of reception that the county assembly should be having for them to be able to handle this report? How will they be able to ensure that it is taken in well? Um, Kenyans, let me start by saying that Kenyans are facing some very mundane issues that are actually bigger to them than this issue of the BBI. Mm. I would like to say that uh, the MCAs should be very careful. Uh, one, they have to understand that uh, nobody is forcing them into anything. This is a democratic process and they have their views that uh, they need addressed. Recently, you watched uh, the members of county assembly from uh, Meru County, mm. um, and they really talked about this issue. They say that um, they have been having sessions in, um, in their houses uh, discussing this BBI issue. And uh, when you listen to them, you find that uh, they are saying that there are some very mundane issues and some very critical issues that Kenyans in Meru, uh, let me use that as the example, in mm. Kenyans in Meru mm. are facing. And some of those issues are some of the issues that need to be addressed. You know, if at all we need assurance, I started by saying that BBI, the spirit behind BBI is one of the best things that has ever happened. We should always be open to conversations and trying to change um, our democracy as we go. Yeah. But now, the members of county assembly should have it in mind that um, they are not being forced and they have the chance mm. to say that um, we need this changed. We need that changed. An example, let me use an example. Um, we are talking about um, bringing a county uh, award fund, yeah. But there is nowhere where we are, we, are, we are discussing the protocols and the laws that are going to 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 to, uh, to guide us um, in the operation of that uh, award development fund. Those are some of the issues that we need to discuss, so that um, yeah, you know, so that we can be really helpful Kenyans because we might be bringing another issue of corruption mm. by introducing our award fund. Remember the issues that are usually there with the NGCDF. You know, we need proper frameworks as we discuss this issue. Now, now uh, two county assemblies, uh -huh. Nandi County and uh, Kericho County, wrote to the Supreme Court yesterday uh -huh. uh, seeking an advisory opinion on, the po on this popular initiative. And in a statement, let me read just a, a portion of it, and I quote, the first question concerns whether county assemblies are obliged to conduct public participation when considering a bill to amend the constitution through popular initiative. That's the question they're asking. Is it okay for the county assemblies to, or are they obliged to conduct public participation when considering this bill? Sheila. But uh, you see we're saying public participation at the point of which we're collecting signatures. Have we, have we skipped a process? Because mm. the word out there is that public participation was already done the past two years. Right now we are obtaining signatures of people who are aware of what document that they actually want to pass. Because what we need is one, one million signatures, which I know in any county, uh, backed by the executive, the signatures will be gotten. But the issue then is, people signing these signatures to support BBI, 
Do they really know the document? Have is they it, read is, it? Isn't that why they are going, they're, they're going for public participation? And that's why we are saying it's not yet time to get the, the signatures. It's so time so, to so th there's a process, there's some, th there is a step we missed. You cannot tell people that we want you to sign this document and sign in support of it, and you're telling them about the document now as they're signing for the document. Public okay. participation is supposed to enlighten the, the, the counties about the document. Have they gotten copies of the document? Have they read through it? Do they know what is in the document for them? Do they know how to hold their leaders accountable as per the document? Such that we're having a people who are enlightened, who are signing for something they actually know. Or do we just want one million signatures or four million like uh, Waweru was saying, which they will get. But at the end of the day, are we getting signatures from people who know about it? Or well, do we just need signatures? Well, um, yeah, yes. Um, I, I want to add something to her, to her point. That yeah. um, what are we collecting the signatures for? What are we having an election about? Is it really necessary? We are looking into a, into a referendum, uh, Sheriff. A referendum about what? Something that is not accepted. When you talk about uh, uh, the issue of public participation, mm. you're talking about uh, public participation um, so that people can give views. Actually, this is counter... Uh, they, 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 are, they are contradicting themselves. Because mm. if you say, um, if, let's say, the Supreme Court says that um, they have to hold a public participation, um, then that means they will have to, again, air their views on the document. And you have already said that um, the document is already closed uh, for review. They, they want to talk about whether, actually, um, they, they also are questioning whether the county assemblies can amend the Constitution Amendment Bill to reflect the views received during public participation as well as their inpu inputs from the MCS. We'll have to wait for the Supreme Court to give us a, an answer to that. But Imagine a situation where they are told that um, they can, they're actually supposed to uh, conduct a public participation. Then Raila has already said that this document is closed for review. Wouldn't we be having two political sides um, again contesting on that issue again? Because if the members of county assembly say that we have issues that need to be collected in this document, and then they, they refuse, uh, what are we doing really? Aren't we confusing Kenyans? The question would be, is there proof of public participation? In the BBI that is already in the there, BBI in that is being taken to the counties. Because the Supreme Court would want to overchange something that was not there. If there's proof that indeed these counties had given their views and their views are well taken into consideration, then they would still be going through a process that they had gone through and now taking it back to court. So the big question is, was there public participation? Can we say for, for a fact that these uh, county assemblies that are coming to court participated and endorsed this document? So within these two years, what, what your argument is, uh, to make sense out of it, within these two years that we had uh, the BBI report that the, you know, uh, the team was moving around the country, they already engaged the public. I mean, there was public, public participation. That is the assumption. That is the assumption. Yeah. But now that we have the report, it's going back to the county assemblies uh, so that they can um, discuss it. Um, so if they're talking about public participation again, it means we are talking about a second participation of the public, which if, is If, if you look at the document, there are parts that are saying, uh, this is what the members of the public said. This is what, this is what they were recommending. Mm. Then this is what the document now has taken into consideration, it's giving back. So at what point were the members of the public making these recommendations? Was it private? Uh -huh. let's, let, let's look at some of your comments here. John Good is saying, I reject BBI. Sia Bet is saying, wah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> this BBI thing is robbing our future. I guess BBI belongs to a few. I believe BBI thing only is a political strategy to a certain person or ground. It seems unrealistic and does not come out clearly. I reject it. Malta Calvin is saying it's impossible, said the pride, it's risky, said the experience, it's meaningless, said the common sense, reject BBI, whispered the heart. Malta Calvin Ole Pasalak from Baringo County in Marigat sub-county. Thank you very much. Uh, we have Kim Wakinapendo, refine, reject. Okay. <laughs> But if you're rejecting, if, if you're refining it, is the <laughs> <laughs> refine, then, you you, you refine it, then what is the, what is the, the whole point of refining it? <laughs> uh, uh, Sharks deal and some high, high side uchumi ya Kenya. So, acha ikai kwanza wa implement constitution mpya vizuri, alafu tutafikiria mambo ya BBI. 
Dennis wa Mukwijit anasema kapenguria kapingu, tuko pamoja by the way um, to all you who are there do, you, do, you, do we really even understand the bibi in, in, in itself uh, Xavier Maestro Mwela anasema at least it's an upgrade from the current situation in the constitution we have let's accept and refine later so, where, so we want to accept a document and then we go again to a, a whole process again later this, the views from Kenyans should actually tell uh, the movers of the BBI uh, debate that it's not yet time. Mm. Kenyans are rejecting this document. And they're not rejecting the document because the document is bad. They're rejecting the document because, one, uh, they do not understand the whole document. They have not read it. They do not know the merits of the same. And two, they're feeling that there are issues. Those who have read it feel that there are issues that we need to be addressed. One of such issues is uh, the fight against corruption. Mm. which is one of the major issues that we're facing in this country. The BBI document has said that we want to create a timeline for the dealing with these cases of corruption. That, on the other hand, when the president is not appointing judges, I don't know how they want to do that, but if you're saying that we want to create a timeline for these cases and we are fast-tracking corruption cases, do the common man know that what ails us most is mm. being dealt with in this document? Okay. Let's continue. Jafet Ratanya. Uh, Peterson is saying uh, is watching from Kinyanka Igembe South. I reject BBI. I understand tomorrow uh, we are launching the signatures, whereas they have not distributed booklets. Now, how will we sign to something we have not seen or read? Uh, and that is the question. One of the essential elements of public participation, as she had said, is that our public participation is done on a bill. What Kenyans were doing is that they were giving their views on what they would want in that bill. Now, if at all now we have a bill, then we'll have to have public participation on it so that they can say this was properly so, this, is, this has been written down properly so, this one is improper, we need this out, we need this added. Yeah? Kenyans should be accorded with that opportunity. Um, again, and I keep on repeating this, where are we rushing to? We will get to a situation where uh, Kenyans will decide to throw the baby with the water. We have good things in that document, but if at all Kenyans are not given another opportunity to say that, yes, we have this document, but these are the things we need added, these are the things we need removed. Uh, uh, th 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 there is something that uh, Jaffet has uh, said that, uh, let me get it, that uh, we are launching signatures whereas they have not distributed booklets. Uh, how will we sign something that you have not seen or read? Uh, I was getting to, to, to that. Yeah. Uh, when you're doing public participation, one or something, something else is that the government or the person who is doing public participation has the duty to ensure that the individuals actually have that information. You sure. facilitate them accessing that information. So uh, if you say that um, you, you, you are getting people to accept something and yet you have not facilitated uh, them reading that document, then mm -hmm. what are you doing exactly? Uh, have, you, have, you, have you seen or uh, had the hard copy already? I have it on my phone. On At least phone. I have a phone. <laughs> um, 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 <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you see, um, those who have phones, those who can access the internet, can get the document. Um, mm. uh, it's being shared uh, right, left, and center uh, okay. on social media. But not every other Kenyan uh, has access to that. Which, which, uh, which, which, which I, I need Kenyans, by the way, to tell me. Umesoma BBI. Have you seen it? Have you touched it? Do you have it on your phone? Have you read it? Kamau Gitari Watumaini, semi revine or I reject. Many parts in it are individual gain against the will of common monaichi. Rastok Waka, wacha kusema minili accept kitambo. Ongoi Victor, alisema hiyo hata si, sijawai yona nisome, so mimi bado sina say. Okay, that, those are tweets, uh, th those are comments by some of the Kenyans. Um, remember the hashtag, the stand KE. Now, the BBI has um, lots of issues that um, are addressing different constitutional masters. And that is a fact here. Yes. Um, because we're talking about amending the constitution, uh, which requires that only, uh, at the end of the day, the constitution requires that only you know, um, one or numerous issue-based questions be voted for during a referendum. Um, if so, then how, how, how is it that we can be able to come to a point where we can uh, have the referendum question acquired in a document that has so many 
um, constitutional um, amendments, getting to that referendum question, how can we acquire that? So, uh, well, it's not rocket science mm. that uh, for us to have uh, the, the, the questions, the referendum questions, mm -hmm. we have to uh, identify which issues are key. Yes. Which issues are, will we be going to the ballot for or against? And part of the issues that are key are issues that have been talked around time and time again. Straight from when BBI was launched in Bomas, the key issues came out on the podium there and then. And part of the key issues are, one, uh, the IEBC. That, is, that was the key issue, mm. which is probably uh, the issue that holds... Uh, we're saying that BBI is uh, an, an attempt at inclusivity. So mm. we want to bring people together away from elections. Mm. The first issue would then be, how are we appointing the judges who are going to look at this IBC issue? So we have people who are going to sit down and come up with themselves, come amongst themselves with questions on how, mm -hmm. do, how do we appoint the IBC? Okay. So okay. what if uh, two political parties do not agree? What if uh, the smaller political parties move to court like Maindeleo Chap Chap, like uh, Third Way Alliance? What if mm. they move to court that we are not included in the appointing of people who are going to look at oh, oh, how we run? Of which, based on what, what I see, Third Way Alliance seems to be supporting. If um, I got it right from uh, the Secretary General, Freddy Kokango. But uh, there are some who believe that uh, Honda Borrello is forcing this on Kenyans uh, together with other leaders. But Honda Borrello Odinga said this, and I quote, world over a referendum is contested so that those who are supporting it have a right just like those who are opposing it. We are not forcing anybody to support it. We are a democrat democratic country. That is what we have seen some uh, Kenyans saying that this is uh -huh. Your thoughts on it, uh, Waidaka? You know, I'd call that an irresponsible statement because... By uh, By Raila, because Honorable Wright uh, Raila Molo Odinga, mm. uh, he is a person or everybody who is a proponent of BPI are people who have political power. They are people who have a lot of influence in this country. As much as you're saying everybody has the democratic right to choose, and, and that is true, everybody has the democratic right to, uh, to private political choice and to express that, uh, to express that uh, uh, political uh, view or opinion. But now, there's a person who should be able to sit down with all Kenyans, stop politicizing, over-politicizing this issue, mm. and give Kenyans the chance to air more views. You okay. know? As much as you're saying that we already have this document and people can accept it or reject it, mm. then, um, then can we do it in 2022? If at all, uh, if at all there's no hurry, uh, it's a good document and uh, everybody has a political choice, then can we do it in 2022 without um, all these commotions and all okay. this? L um, you're, you're, you're both lawyers. Let me speak about your president, the LSK President Nelson Harvey. Mm -hmm. This is what he said. What interest does an outgoing president have with the Constitution? It can only be of, for self-interest. End of quote. That, does this carry water? Uh, um, I think, uh, one, I would probably like to highly dissociate myself with that sentiment. Mm. That's a very reckless statement. Because you see, uh, an outgoing president has no right in constitutionalism in a country in which they are first a citizen before they are a president. So we are saying once you cease being a president, then mm. you cease talking about the matters that affect the country. Is that the position the president wants to take? I, I have not seen that tweet, but I would call it a lazy tweet. Mm. It is something that you say when you, your mind is not working, you have just woken up. And so you when, it, when it comes to constitutional change, um, it is not something that is considered selfish from the president to do it now. He is, it, uh, it is, he a, it is right. a conversation that involves everyone. Yes. And that is why we are taking it back to the county assembly, mm -hmm. who the president would probably hail from a county. So they would have their say from that county. So we cannot say that once you're a president, you do not care about what will happen next after you are of a power. Or if you're the outgoing. president commands a goodwill. The president, like we've seen the former president, would want to see the country not divided when they leave. And that's why we're saying once the president leaves the office, what legacy is he leaving? Such that you, you cannot leave an office and say, I do not care. I will not talk about that document. How does it concern me? Who says that? That is a very uncalled for statement. 
Sheriff, <laughs> I'd call it a sorry statement because <laughs> um, you, you, you both uh, do not support it. It is very lazy of the I do not support that statement because it, it, it brings the whole, you know, it brings the whole issue of politicization of this whole BBI, making it uh, them versus us, you know. When you introduce such a point, you're, you're starting to bring insinuations. Uh, like um, there are people who are saying that the president wants to come back in another way or something like that. Mm. You know, those are the things that make us not be sober enough to discuss this document. When you look at most of the tweets and the comments on Facebook that we are getting from here, you're finding that people are not saying that they reject BBI because they know uh, what is contained in BBI. They are not accepting it because uh, they know what is uh, in the court. And that is a majority of the people. They are saying that because um, they are on a certain side. Yeah? You find uh, there are those who are in Tanga Tanga, those who are in Kieleweke. None of them is sober enough to make an objective statement on BBI. And um, when we live here, probably everybody will, 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 will associate me or associate her with a certain side or, 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 of, the, of the political divide that we have in this country. Mm. And that is the wrong uh, footing to, uh, to, to start with. Uh, we should start from a point of objectivity. Let us remember that this is a constitutional, uh, this is an issue about changing the constitution. It needs a lot of objectivity. It needs us to be sober. It needs us to remove all the political whims from it. Um, we just need to be sober when you're having this conversation. And, uh, so such statements are just uh, not proper. And, and as we have this conversation, uh, the IBC has okayed the signature collection format that was presented to it by the BBI secretariat. And uh, it has okayed the form uh, given recommend giving recommendations directing signatures to fill in uh, details in uh, all the places for easier vote uh, verification. Now what you see on your screen is the... Um, is the format that was presented to the IBC, uh, to the IBC by the BBI Secretariat. Uh, the approved form is divided into nine fields which require signatories to fill in their details. Now some of the data sets required in the, uh, required in the form include the name, ID, uh, passport number, uh, the county, constituency, county assembly, ward, polling station, mobile number, email address and signature or thumbprint. This is the document that was um, approved by the IEBC today. And this is what will be going around in the, in, in the county assemblies. When you, when, when you see this, things are moving. Huh? Well, things are definitely moving. Uh -huh. uh, irrespective of uh, talk or the dissenting opinion, things are actually moving. And we have an event tomorrow coming up. Uh, what are you l s expecting in tomorrow's event w w you know, with, with the launch of these uh, signatures going around the counties? Well, uh, first I think uh, we should take a stand that it's possible to mm. support BBI and not support uh, Raila or support uh, President. And it is also possible to go against the BBI and not be in ta Tanga Tanga or whatever it is. One, what I expect tomorrow is that the president, the deputy president, who has always called from the first tweet we saw uh, for abandoning this whole process, will not be present. That is what a lot of Kenyans will expect. And that will send a message out there to the people who have not read uh, this document, who would want to associate with him, mm. to turn the document down. So as we're going forward in, and launching the collection of signatures, is it the right time? Do we really need to launch it tomorrow? Okay. Uh, Sheriff, when you saw that uh, the form, it has been approved by the IBC, and then we shall t t sample a few of your comments in a, in, in a few. Um, you, you, your thoughts about that and uh, tomorrow's event, what, what do you expect? The process is definitely moving. Mm. Um, that one we all know and we agree. Um, there are so many political motivations behind this, and that is what I can say. Mm. Um, but uh, it can still be called off if people get sober enough and see that um, there are so many issues that still need to be discussed. Do you want it to be called off? I would like for it to be called off. So you don't support the BBI? I support the spirit behind BBI, <laughs> but there are so many issues that I need that have to uh, be, have to be handled. Typical lawyer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's, let's, look, let's take a look at your tweets. Um, let's bring them up. This is Lavender. Uh, he's saying, I think this uh, BBI is a scam. Although it is so enticing, I believe the pinch is going to be felt harder later in time. That's in case Kenyans accept it. But as for me, unless it is refined, 
I reject. Wow. I agree with. So mm. uh, why are we why aren't we defining this document? It has been there for two years. So the 2010 constitution <laughs> took 50 years to get to. So, so uh, the can, we are not sold in the country. Hidden, there's, some, there's, there's a hidden thing that people do not want to find. Sir Miano J is saying there are final details in the BBI document that we cannot wish away, but still there are needs, uh, but, st but still there needs clarity in some chapters, such as the role of the youth commission where there exists a youth council. I think he's quoting what you said. All right. Uh huh. So, um, uh, so you guys, you're saying that in the end we do not actually require this whole process. Well, we require the whole process, but uh, what is coming out for a fact is that Kenyans do not know about the document. So we are going to the next step. When we have, we're not done, we're not done with the first step. Okay. We require the, it's a good document. It has duplicating roles that we need to get rid of. And we need to know what, what do we really need to have in this oh, document. Okay. Uh -huh. let's, uh, let's head over to Facebook and see what uh, Kenyans are saying. Let's start with uh, Combo Frank and Asama reject. Mark Langat is saying the BBI report seems to be dead on arrival. Wow. Nevertheless, it seems as if it will be forced down Kenyans' throat. But, but who will force it down Kenyans' throat? Huh? <laughs> you know, you, you do not have, you do not have to do it directly. You can do it overtly. Uh, you can do it covertly. However, whichever means that you use, you are still forcing it um, uh, to the Kenyans. What, what happened to the spirit of democracy? Kenyans have the right to, re to reject it. I started with, they do, but why did we have this process uh, to start with? <laughs> why, why have something that we know will be dead on arrival? Or we'll have so many issues that Kenyans will never be... I, I, I saw a comment here and I forgot to, to talk about it. Mm. Uh, somebody said we accept it and then we'll change it later. Remember um, how people are whipped to accept the 2010 constitution. They were saying that um, we have, it is very good, it's so proper, but we have some issues that have to be changed sometimes later. Yeah, if no one was whipped, we went to a referendum and there was a yes. And it was, was a political no process. It right. was a political process. People are whipped by the, the people they follow. Raila has his, uh, Raila has his followers. <laughs> Ruto has his followers. Uru has his followers. That is something we have to agree. You don't believe in the spirit of democracy or elections, do you? I believe in a spirit of people sitting down together and <laughs> talking right. issues out. Yes. Uh, <laughs> let, let's get uh, to William Makori. Monday is saying I accept, but with conditions. Common Mananchi will be involved in building bridges initiative, period. Uh, that is, uh, watching, I think he's saying he's watching from Bonyunyu North, Mugirango. Mbati Vincent, only hypocrites will oppose the BBI using the additional positions in the executive. CAS positions were added, yet the constitution uh, doesn't have it. I heard nobody crying for the same, yet we've, we, we have more than 30 CASs unconstitutionally who are... Mm -hmm. Is there any hustler nominated uh, as a CAS? Jafet Ratanya Peterson, uh -huh. Nasama from Kinyanka, Gembe South. That, that man has not answered my question. He wants to convince us that, uh, the, that who participated are the ones to put signs. We need booklets so that we can sign. David Kipruto, I told so BBI is, is, is cheating Kenyan youth. How many commissions are there in our 2010 constitution and they are not working or keeping, f or, or keeping fruit, for example, police commission? Um, okay. Let me even talk about that police commission. One of the key things in any country is to ensure the independence of the police force. Mm. Oh, we call it a police service now. Yeah. Uh, the 2010 constitution ensured that uh, the police service is one of the most independent bodies. Um, whether it has been is another question altogether. But now we have a police service that will be under our ministry, uh, directly under the executive. So those are some of the issues that uh, we are also talking about. And uh, another comment that um, uh, I saw there, whether there has been a hustler who has been elected. This is the thing that I say, that um, people will follow who, uh, who leads them. If Ruto fails to appear tomorrow, that means nobody in the Tangatanga Brigade is going to vote for that thing. Whether it's good or bad, they are just going to say that um, we are going to reject this document altogether. Okay. Raila's uh -huh. people will also do that. 
we we cannot right. uh, wish away that this is a political process. Stephen Tom Hosore uh, is saying, Ikipita watakuwa miba. Mbati Vincent again, um, I'm assuming that if you had no issue to air for the last two years, how comes you want more time? I refuse to be a slow learner. <laughs> we we, we, we had the slow learners when the BBI was being launched in Bomas. We yes. know the slow learners. Yeah. But here's the thing. Uh, uh, let me first talk about uh, the police commission that he's talking about. We have a police commission, we have a police service right now, and then we have an independent police oversight authority. So we want to uh, re scrap these things off and come up with a police service. And then we're okay. saying the guys who are in Ipoa mm -hmm. can now join for the rest of their term, they're joining this service. What is it that they can't do when they're in independent police oversight authority, that they have to join another commission for okay. the remaining term of their service S sir, to sir. do it? Sheila, uh, thank you very much. That is Sheila, uh, who is a lawyer, and Masharia Waidaka, who is a political analyst, for finding time to join me tonight. That brings us to the end of uh, the stand. That's all the time we had. Thank you very much uh, for coming. Thank you for your tweets and your comments and for sticking to Y254. We'll see you again next week. Same place, same time. My name is Ram Aguko. This is The Stand. Will Rage continue? Let's find out tomorrow.